Hello, a photo of Capricorns. Ba 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 ba. It's time for your 2019 year reading for the end of this year. Hmm. Oh, look at that. And that was pretty quick. The magician is how you're leaving 2018. You've been manifesting. What you've been doing. For the year 2018. That's how you're going out of this. The manifester. Um, I will be not doing any more readings until January 13th. But you can send me requests for personal readings if you want. And uh, my email to request one, as well as my PayPal that I use for getting donations and paid or whatever, is down in the description. Just follow that stuff. I'll mark it accordingly. But yeah, I probably won't be um, back till after the 13th, right? But when I come back, I should be doing the mid-January to February reading. That'll be around Aquarius's birthday, you know. Um, I'm going to be taking a vacation for the rest of whatever time. I'm also going to try to do more of my drawings, too. Because I haven't done them in a while. King of Pentacles in the second quarter. Hmm, that's nice. It's always nice to get yourself where you need to be. Justice card, possibly Libra, in the third quarter. And the fourth quarter of the year, and with the Knight of Pentacles not doing shit towards this justice, right? Almost karmic, as you know. Very interesting we have these two on board. Could be said, could be us, Capricorns, could be Virgos, could be Tauruses, could be someone just emulating those energies, but just keep that in mind, right? But someone is waiting for a love proposal. Okay, in the first quarter. Someone's looking for a reason to stay, but they're ready to leave. They're ready to go, Capricorn. What is in this first quarter? This is my crow deck, by the way. I was telling you guys about it last time, I think. Come on. What is the first quarter going to be like with this... Wanting to stick around, but being ready to go scenario. Starting out. Oh, now you don't want to come out, huh? Okay. There was something else I was going to mention, but I don't remember what it is now. Oh, there we go. First two cards is Four of Wands. You've been having the stamping on all of it. For new beginning. Ecstasy. Rapture. I feel like with this wanting to stick around, even though you're ready to go, you want to put in the energy and you want the new beginning. Capricorns for the new year. You're ready for a new beginning, something that'll fill your cup up, I think. You're ready to go. You're ready to move on. I mean, you'd stick around, I think, if you'd want to. But I think you have the, but I don't think you need to, even unless you don't want to. Or whatever it is I'm trying to say. Whatever. Um, this King of Pentacles is definitely getting a victory in the second quarter. God damn, like, look at that. That is potential right there, Capricorns. Give me another Earth sign you're dealing with, too. Oh. Then we got the Four of, of Cups. Lots of opportunities and lots of change coming around, too. Like, holy shit. This is a very nice rating, Capricorns. I like this. This card speak to me. Uh, with this Justice card, possibly a Libra. There has been a disconnection. Possibly with a soulmate or something? Like, I mean, it deals with karma when it comes to, like, two people coming apart. Like, it even says twin soul. Okay. So it's like there's a disconnect between a twin soul, possibly, if you're dealing with a Libra. Or there could be some, like, good karma in cutting ties with this person. Because they weren't possibly good or healthy for you. And now there's a need to rejuvenate and rest from this. Four of Swords. Rejuvenate. Look, and Libra again. Maybe you need to take a break from this person. Maybe they weren't good for you. Maybe they were toxic, like people say. 
Which I don't really like the term toxic because it's just like, ah. Uh. What is the fourth quarter tell us, cards? Love to know. Oh, almost lost that. Oh, there we go. We have justice once again. Not offering anything anytime soon. Brings us out of this disastrous end. Look at that, Capricorn. It's like, this is actually a really nice reading for you guys. For myself as well, too. Like, holy shit. Like, look at all of this. Everything's just coming to um, end very beautifully for you. And I feel like it's really is justice not to do anything right here. Um, you're going into 2019 as decisive, elusive, mystical. People finding you mysterious, finding you potentially attractive because there's not much known about you. You're elusive. You're being very decisive. Could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius too. That could be this energy as well. But it seems like that's how you're going into it. You're like being very critical and like very picky about what you deal with. Because in this first quarter, there might have been an illusion or a lie you were dealing with. And that's why you wanted to take off. I mean, there was still some reason you wanted to stick around, but I think it's for the better that you leave. Because, like, some sort of lie or misinformation or bad perspective is going on. Right? And that's something you learned within the first quarter of the month. And now you're ready for a new journey as you're... Like, you just took that leap of faith, Capricorn. And... And just like decided I'm going with it and you got a victory now opportunities are coming to you so nice like I totally am digging this reading like fuck yeah um in the third quarter you learned the lesson that some people are just not nurturing for you like I really feel like this is like a Libra you were dealing with maybe and maybe they weren't as nurturing and like that can this connection like you need a break from it because there's a lot of chaos going around in your home I feel like in the fourth quarter, or you're learning to come out of that chaotic state in your home and lift this burden by just not offering anything anymore. And you go in to 2019 rest and after you get all this stuff done. But honestly, this is a really good reading, Capricorn. Like, I think this is the best one I've ever done with Russ. Usually we're just talking shit. Glad we bonded, as we know that like we're going to get stellar stuff, right? Great. So I'll see you guys in after um, January thirteenth, and I hope you all have a good day. Bye bye.